In this lesson, I'll show you how to use and interpret margin of error. If a statistic is obtained from a random sample of size n, there is a 95% probability that it lies within 1 over the square root of n times 100% of the true population percent, where plus or minus 1 over the square root of n times 100 is called the margin of error. With that being said, the question we're focusing on reads, the table shows that in a random sample of 1,000 US adults, 46% of those questions said that they dread public speaking. Verify the margin of error that was given for the survey. So take a look at these numbers. We have the highest at public speaking, which is 46%, and the lowest waiting in line at the post office. Our n value here is 1,000. So calculating the margin of error, we'll write down plus minus one over the square root of 1,000 times 100%. Let's use our calculator for this. One over the square root of 1,000 multiplying that by 100% gives us 3.16 and rounding this to two decimal places for the sake of simplicity we have a margin of error that's equal to 3.2 percent plus minus. So let's go ahead now and write a statement about the percentage who dread public speaking. We can say that there's a 95 percent probability that the true population percentage lies between let's do this 46 plus minus 3.2 percent. If we add them, we get 46 plus 3.2, 49.2. And if we subtract them, we get 42.8. So once again, there's a 95 percent probability that the true population lies between 42.8 and 49.2 percent. And there you have it. That is how to use and interpret margin of error.